What is up YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. This video is all about a little rumor circulating around right now that we are going to get an expanded upon version of Ray's vision in episode eight. So let's get right into it. Now, first off, this source comes for, or this story rather comes from makingstarwars.net, which is a great site. They do their own stories. They're a great aggregator of different stories about Star Wars. You should definitely favorite them, put them in your browser. They're a really good site to go to. Now, getting into the story itself, the rumor suggests that in episode eight, we are going to get a version or basically an extended version of Rey's vision from The Force Awakens. Now, I don't have to tell you guys this, but Rey's vision from The Force Awakens is like the most dissected, the most interesting part of that film. It's been um, taken like over and over again. People just cut it apart. They, they take frame by frame, they blow it up, they do different things. And I'm gonna go into in a second all these different things that you may not know about the vision. But the point of this story basically says that it all has to do with that moment when Luke puts his hand on R2 by that fire, okay? It is said that this is the last time Luke saw R2 right up until hopefully he sees him uh, in episode eight. But we're going to get more surrounding that time and more of an explanation as to why Luke went into exile, what exactly happened to his academy, and what is going on with Kylo Ren. Now, if you're a big fan of Star Wars and you're reading the, the canon novels and everything like this, there's been a lot of clues that are filling in little gaps for us as far as what's happening with Luke, what happened to his academy, and whatnot. So we know that up to at least six years before The Force Awakens, Luke was not in exile. He was still running around with Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, at the time. And we know this because when in Bloodline there's this really cool moment, it's actually one of my favorite moments of the book, um, is when it is revealed that Leia is the daughter of Darth Vader. And it's a big deal. People really didn't like Vader for obvious reasons. It puts her political career in jeopardy. But he instantly realizes and, and knows that she never told her son this, her son, Ben. They never, She never told him that his grandfather was Darth Vader. So worried about how he would react by just hearing it out in the galaxy because news travels fast, she... She records a transmission that is supposed to be sent to her son, but she has no idea where he's at. She makes note to mention that he's she, that uh, Ben is out with Luke somewhere, and they're not sure where. Okay, so that's like the timetable that we're working with here. Now, also a couple interesting things about the vision. Pablo Hidalgo said on Twitter that the moment where the Knights of Ren are slaughtering the the villagers or the clan, I believe is the word he used, is not linked to the moment of the fall of Luke's academy. And here's a little interesting uh, inside baseball fact. There were lightsabers built for that scene in The Force Awakens where Kylo and the Knights of Render standing over all the bodies. There were going to be lightsabers strung about. However, they were taken off and there are no lightsabers seen. Now, seemingly, this clan and these people within the vision are not the members of Luke's academy, okay? So that moment where uh, Rey is looking up and someone's attacking her and Kylo stabs it, there were a bunch of different rumors here. There was this, there was this thought that maybe he was secretly killing one of the Knights of Ren during the assault of the academy because he wanted to save his cousin. Uh, there were thoughts that maybe that was one of the members of the uh, Jedi Academy and he wasn't actually going to strike uh, Rey down. He was doing something else and, and Kylo kills to save. But it kind of seems like that figure, the one that had like the, um, the Raiden type helmet thing or uh, hat, which looked dope, um, but he and those bodies in that vision are not actually the members of Luke's Academy. And here's another interesting uh, fact about this. Um, Ray's vision is not just a flashback. A lot of people think that, but it is not. She sees the moment of her confronting Kylo uh, before it happens on Starkiller Base. She sees Luke and the water and uh, the island. And uh, just so you know, too, some of this I'm pulling from not just 
the uh, the vision in the film, but from the vision from the novelization. Because here's the thing, the novelization is based upon an earlier draft of the script, but the bottom line is this, when pressed, the story group explained that everything that happened in the book that is not in direct conflict with what happened on the screen is considered canon. That means that um, Unkar plot, his arms, ripped out of their sockets on Takudana. We just didn't see it on screen. So if we ever see Uncle Plot, he'll have like robot arms or no arms, or maybe he bled out. But that's canon, okay? So there are things that happen in the vision in the novel that did not happen in the film. So there's a lot to dissect. I believe there are actually three versions of the vision out there, and I'm blanking on what the third one is. But um, interesting, interesting stuff when it comes to this. Now, the, there's so many questions when it comes to Ray's, Ray's vision, but, but what this really means is that in episode eight, Ray is gonna have another vision that it's possible that that slaughter of the clan members from the Knights of Ren is in the future that she's seeing. There's, there's so many things that, that we don't know, but the bottom line is in episode eight, we are going to get more answers. They're gonna expand it. And what I really hope they do is they expand it more, but it's not like completely explained. Maybe Luke is not telling her everything, but she just has the vision and sees more of it. And, and we, as an audience, get to piece more and more of it together because I find this stuff very, very fascinating. But um, that's the report that's out there. Let me know in the comment section, like, did you hear something? Um, what do you think about the vision? Uh, what do you think happened to Luke's Academy? And, uh, you know, are you excited to get these answers? Because I mean, like, obviously, we're all really excited to get these answers. It's going to be super dope. But that's the rumor, guys. That's what's going on out there, that this vision is going to be expounded upon. So I'm really excited about that. Now, let's check the nerd card. Now, I throw a lot of softball questions out there, but this is not going to be one of those questions. This is going to be tough. You got to be uh, on your shit, so to speak, to get the answer. And the question is, that guy, the guy that gets stabbed by Kylo in the vision, there was a piece or of lore that did not exist within the movie. It was a book and it describes, it gives that person a name. And that name is kind of where people started to think that maybe this guy was not one of Luke's students or a member of the Jedi Order in, in any way whatsoever. So my question is, what is the name of that guy that gets stabbed by Kylo Ren? What was he called in the script and in some of the source material? Answer the question in the comments section below. Like the video if you thought it was cool. By the way, I'm doing a contest in September to celebrate going over 200 subscribers. Uh, all you need to do is be a subscriber, comment on a video, and you get an entry to win. The grand prize is going to be some original artwork from my comic book and some copies of my book and t-shirts and things like that. Um, but here's what's really cool. If you answer a nerd card question in the comment section, you get five entries into the grand prize, which will be drawn at the end of September. We'll give away stuff every Wednesday in September. So make sure you subscribe and answer nerd questions for the month of September to be entered to win that sort of stuff, all right? As I always say, guys, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya.